Hello everybody, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the last chapter, chapter 10. The three years after her stroke, Patricia Neal was working again. She acted in a TV commercial. Pat became good friends with the woman who chose clothes for the actors in the commercial. Her name was Felicity Crossland. Felicity was divorced. Lizzie and her three daughters spent a lot of time with the dolls. They even went on vacations together. Pat didn't notice that Rod and Lizzie were falling in love. They kept it a secret for 10 years. Over time, Pat and Rod had grown further and further apart. After being married for 30 years and raising five children, Pat and Rod got a divorce in 1983. Rod married Lizzie in 1983. He was 67 and she was 45. It was the beginning of the most productive time of Rod's life. It was also the time he began his partnership with illustrator Birkin Beck. Lizzie said about her husband, he was not an easy man, but to me he was the most stimulating man in the world and the best husband a woman could have, ever have. Rod was a man with many interests. He enjoyed photography, playing sports, racing dogs, and collecting art. He loves antiques and actually owned antique shops with his children. He liked restored old furniture. He kept vegetables and flower gardens. He, he grew prize-winning orchids. He collected wine. No one on Lizzie found him so fascinating. With all his hobbies, it was amazing that Rod found no time to write. Besides his children's novels, Rod wrote two books with, about his own life. Boy, in 1984, was about his childhood and school days. Going Solo in 1986 was about his war adventures. Both books are very entertaining. However, not all the events are completely true. Rod was a storyteller, after all. Matilda was one of Rod's last books. He had a hard time working on it. His health wasn't very good. At one point, he started all over and rewrote, rewrote every word. Matilda was an instant bestseller when it came out in 1988. Rod wrote a cell chart, the muffins, and some adult stories. He wrote a cookbook with Lizzie. His brain wasn't slowing down, but his body was. Rod was diagnosed with a rare blood disease. On November 23, in 1990, Rod, Rod Daw died at the age of 74. His family buried him near his house with some pencils and wine and chocolates. Right up to the end, Rod kept working on new ideas. It was about a girl and her dog who understood each other's languages. What a loss not to read that story. His life was full of wonderful ups and terrible downs. Rodda was an up and down person. 2. Charming one minute, nasty the next. Self-centered, then generous. His family sometimes found him difficult, but they loved him very much. As Lizzie said, he was a sparkly man. What does that mean? In Den Denny, the champion of the world, Rod had written, A stoggy parent is no fun at all. What a ch child wants and deserves is a parent who is sparkly. So sparkly means interesting, funny, energetic, and young at heart. Rod was a sparkly writer at all. His books were exciting, funny, imaginative, and sometimes even scary. He understood that children found what children found interesting. 
would be proud to know that many children all over the world love to read because all of his books. And that's all of who was Rodal, and I will see you on the review. Bye.